I just thought I'd talk about the heart center today because somebody asked me um, on one a short video, I talked about dropping into the heart center and I hadn't really spoken about that very much. And really this heart center isn't a physical place. It's not the heart or the heart chakra or anything like that. It's more of the feeling sense, the intimacy of the self. And the reason I offer, invite people to drop into the heart center is to create distance from the mind, from because we feel like the mind's up here and we're having the experience of the mental realm. So dropping out of the head and into the body in a feeling way. It's not the mind witnessing. It's opening up your focus, expansive view. So now I feel like I'm including the head and the heart area at the moment. So I invite you to drop down and create distance from the mind, from the head. And to feel you're more centered in the trunk of the body. And the feeling sense of the heart center is intimacy, is, oh God, I want to say sacred. Um, that seems to be what's coming up, sacred. It's, um, although it's open, expansive, it's precious. It feels just here. It's like our experience of the self, self, but in the body. Does that make sense? So this expansiveness is felt in the body. And it's very much now, the mind is sort of illumined because we're centered here, here, um, in the physical body. But actually when I look, I can't find a physical body. When I feel its expansiveness, but there's also the experience of sensing this expansiveness. So I hope this makes sense. It's just that I was pointing to the heart center and somebody asked me a question and I thought, ah, hang on a minute here. There's actually quite a lot that could be said because it's not focusing on the heart, opening the focus, dropping into the body, that's what it feels like we're doing. That's the experience of what we're having. But there's this expansiveness and this intimacy at the same time. It's the, um, it's the turning inwards to the expansiveness of what we are. Away from the ever-changing, away from all the 10,000 things, away from the distractions of all of this. So although we appear to be here looking out, we're actually looking in and then we're expanding out. So then we include everything and that's where we inquire from because now I'm not having the mind relay what it thinks. Um, it's just coming out from here. I must drop my camera on these shots. Uh, it's coming out from the chest area. So now I can inquire from there and it's not mind dominant. It's not mind focused. It's expansive, open, alert, awake, knowing and being rather than knowledge. Got to get, got to get. Oh, I know this. I can work this out. That personal I, this is the um, I am, the... resting down and letting go of all sense of a person and it being impersonal being, just being, no one being, just being. And it's as if we unplug from the mental, emotional and physical. 
and then we are this field of being and knowing and the perfume of that is joy uncaused joy very different to the idea of separation in the mental physical emotional because then we're searching for something we don't feel whole we're looking for something to make us whole but actually when we turn within we open our focus we drop down into the body turn within and turn within and turn within we see how delicious this actually is and there it's already whole and complete and there's nothing to get so it might be a bit rambly this one but um yeah somehow i hope i demonstrated the differences and that it's a feeling sense and that's where the inquiry comes from it's very easy to jump up to the mind when we get the uh, we do an inquiry well actually who is um this idea of losing it and getting it you know who's losing it when we look within we can't find this eye that's losing it so we find the truth but then it's so easy to jump up to the mind to the mental realm plug in and then start to work out oh okay so that's that and so if who's the eye that you're in the mental realm you're back in the mind body and emotions this is the knowing this is the um, place of not a container of knowledge just knowledge expansive infinite knowledge not learnt not ideas and concepts this is this just is awake alert being and knowing hope this helps